What's up guys? So I hate making this type of videos because uh, it just gets me mad. But we are running through some trouble with the 335 now. Oh my god, these mosquitoes are back. They're killing me. Anyways guys, so yeah, the 335 had some minor issues. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you what went wrong with it. So this is a video of what happened. Alright guys, so just as always when you're doing anything with the coolant, make sure you put something underneath so you don't get it all over the place. I'm not going to drain mine, I'm just going to let it, um, if it falls from the hose, it falls from that hose, but I'm going to put something underneath just so it doesn't get all over the place. But yeah, pretty much um, it's fairly simple, you don't need a lot of tools. Here we have a pick tool, it's kind of <laughs> bent over, but um, the reason I'm changing it is because the seal inside broke, so it started leaking coolant through here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. It's about $30, so I'm gonna leave the link down below. But yeah, to take this out, there is a clip. You could, if you have something small enough, you could put it through here. Uh, or you could just push the clip through the end of the hose, like so. Until it clicks. Now you can just yank it out and push it to the side. Uh, this should have a seal, but mine, yeah, kind of broke off. And for this other side, I like to put some PV blaster around the area, let it sit for a little bit. I know it's gonna get a little bit messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this whole thing up because it did uh, pour coolant all over the place, so uh, I do have to clean the whole engine and everything. But meanwhile, uh, we could take this one out. Mine has a little clamp here I believe the stock one should have a clamp that can be removed with some pliers but mine is gonna need a flathead screwdriver so remember lefty loosey so just go ahead and pull that mine doesn't have any coolant so just before you start pulling stuff out make sure you drain the coolant just in case um, and yeah we're gonna have another one of those weird hoses with the clamp uh, I don't know if you can see that right there but that right there is a clamp so same thing you could just put with the screwdriver or pick set just pull it up like so and you could jank down the hose I would suggest to do this one first because this one right here is the one that tends to break so if you go in that order this one bottom and then that it should be technically easier and um, yeah you you don't risk the chance of breaking stuff so like I mentioned be really careful because this is plastic on plastic so you don't want to break anything this piece of last there we're gonna let it sit for a while, then hopefully it will come off easier. The PB blaster sits for a while, this should come right off. If you do it carefully, there shouldn't be a lot of spilling of the coolant or water, whatever you have in there. As you can see right there, it's been removed. Now we we'll just go ahead and remove the upper clamp by doing the same thing, pulling up like so. And this one's the one you wanna be really careful with. Take your time. The hose is not going anywhere, just take a chill and just slightly move it around. Because like I said, this part tends to crack the radiator. I've replaced mine like a year ago, so it should be not as bad, but it's still be really careful. And eventually it will come up. Okay guys, so it is off. I didn't break anything, I hope. Uh, yeah, everything looks good. On both sides. And yeah, that's pretty much the way you install it, like so. And 
and everything should fit right in okay so i just put in the new hose and every time before i forget make sure you purge the system so what you're going to do is um pretty much make sure the reservoir is full and you're going to go ahead and go inside put the key in the ignition like so don't press on the on the brake pedal you're going to press on the gas pedal turn on the ignition put the heater on and you hear that the system is now purging or letting out the air and yes yeah, something to remember after 10 minutes close the cap on the reservoir and then just look out for any leaks make sure you get to operating temperature and then just give it a test drive